<laughs> so, <laughs> so one thing um, Devin is really great at, and, and what's kind of transitioned a lot of the way that they culture her background, she worked a lot with microalgae before she came to the farm, and then she started experimenting a lot with microalgae when she was at the farm. And so microalgae are kind of like the most critical part of abalone culture because it's trying to get that magic combination in food availability when they are that that small stage. So all those um, those babies that you, you saw floating around um, that, that just hatched last night, they're not really eating right now. But once they start going into like their next stage, um, which is what, maybe like a month, three weeks? Uh, we settle them in a week. A week. So um, they settle and, and before they go into those troughs, so you saw all those troughs in there that had like the, the, um, the plates and stuff like that. Before they go in there, they have this whole kind of recipe that goes for about like eight weeks, ten weeks. Not sure, yeah. sure. I think it's like eight plus, sometimes longer, where they get all these microalgaes and they basically create this like magical meadow that's in, in those troughs. And it all starts, so Navicula is the first one. Navicula is, is not this very fancy algae, but this is kind of like the base layer. Do so you think about like, essentially you're building like a big lasagna. And so the navicula is really the stuff that's holding it all together. And then you start adding all these different types of, of microalgae. So you have nanochloropsis and tetrasalmus, which are the, the two green algaes. Um, and so Devin has kind of played around with this over a while where she found this like really magic recipe. Um, and it goes over about well, like eight weeks where you're like going to those troughs you're turning the water off, you're turning the air off, you let it settle for like two days, and you turn it on, you do all this like like back and forth with it. It goes over like eight to ten weeks, just so you get this like awesome, really gross looking but very delicious meadow that that all those those troughs that were in the culture room are ready to go. So once those abalone, once they're they're ready to settle, put them in. Now they have like unlimited food source for a while so they can grow. And so it's made a huge difference, and so that's what all this is, and they can like mass produce a lot of nanoclapses. I've seen them um, feed, like you used to have a couple of the troughs out here were just like nano and tetra, oh, wow. right? Um, at least the, like in the, in the workshop, this is, um, when it was like peak, peak time for, I think it was like summertime, they had like one of those big troughs that was just Ogo and Dulce that we just saw. It was just nano and tetra, and they would take buckets and start feeding a lot of the troughs. So kind of behind the scenes, like like maybe not as cool as all the other stuff, but like like kind of the foundation of that. What do you mean? It's just super cool. <laughs> well, I think it's super cool, but you know. Um, so yeah, it's really, really awesome. So we did this a lot at, at um, Cabrillo, and we kind of designated, we, we turned our little microalgae into a tiki bar, because a lot of people come in and say, what are you, what are you brewing? And so we, we actually had like, different taps on the top and it had all the names of all the algae. <laughs> um, but like this transitioned and we were able to produce a lot more abalone just like dialing in the, the microalgae. Super cool.